you can see the birth of the universe, provided that there is matter out there that is as old as the universe. With each new and captivating image, the James Webb Space Telescope continues to receive hits from all around the cosmos and even from planets in our solar system. Just a year ago, we were treated to our first taste of the images the Carina Nebula, Stefan's Quintet, and most dramatically, the so-called deep field image that appears to depict dozens of galaxies extending into the far reaches of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope has recently discovered objects that completely disprove existing cosmological ideas. Hence, they are being dubbed, Universe Breakers, by astronomers. The reason for this remains a mystery, thereby rendering all of our predictions and hypotheses incorrect. So, what's new with the James Webb Telescope? What did it find out that we didn't know before? Join us as we explore how the James Webb Telescope found evidence of another universe that upends the Big Bang. We live in a universe that formed from a hotter, denser, and more uniform past. This theory, known as the Hot Big Bang, was one of the most significant scientific achievements of the last 100 years. It was shockingly validated in the mid-1960s with the discovery of the primeval fireball that remained from that early hot and dense state. Today known as the Cosmic Microwave Background CMB. This was initially suggested as a serious alternative to some of the more mainstream explanations for the expanding universe. After an early inflationary era, the Big Bang has been the de facto hypothesis explaining our cosmic origins for over half a century. As fresh, crucial observations have come in, astronomers and astrophysicists have consistently challenged both cosmic inflation and the Big Bang. However, each time, the alternatives have fallen by the wayside. Assuming that space-time, matter, and energy all originated with the Big Bang is a typical way to portray it. Our growing and less dense universe must have been much smaller and denser once upon a time. If the universe contains radiation such as photons, then the wavelength of that radiation will increase as the universe expands, indicating that it was hotter at the beginning of time and is now cooler. When one extrapolates far enough into the past, the density, temperature, and energy levels reach a position where a singularity can be created. The rules of physics become meaningless when dealing with extremely small distances, extremely short durations, or extremely high energy scales. At 10 to the power of 43 seconds, the Planck time, the laws of physics are broken. If we wind the clock backward by 13.8 billion years to the legendary zero mark, we would anticipate a great deal of historical transition if this picture of the universe were correct that it started out hot and dense and then expanded and cooled. Massive amounts of all conceivable particles and antiparticles would be produced. With any surplus being destroyed by radiation as soon as the temperature drops too low to sustain their creation. The four basic forces and particles with non-zero rest masses are produced when the electro-weak and Higgs symmetries collapse as the universe cools below the energy point at which they are restored. Atoms like protons and neutrons are made up of composite particles called quarks and gluons. The remaining particles are no longer effectively contacted by neutrinos. Helium-3, Helium-4, and lithium-7 are the light nuclei that result from the fusion of protons and neutrons. When the overdense zones become excessively dense, radiation pressure expands them and gravity grows them, resulting in a series of rhythmic scale-dependent impressions. And some 380,000 years after the Big Bang, it cools down to a point where stable neutral atoms can be formed without being immediately blasted apart. The discovery of the cosmic microwave background radiation over 55 years ago marked a pivotal moment in cosmology, elevating the Big Bang theory as the dominant explanation for the universe's inception. Despite initial skepticism, most scientists embraced this paradigm shift, recognizing the compelling evidence it offered. However, proponents of the steady-state theory persisted in proposing alternative explanations, which were progressively refuted by accumulating data. Despite their efforts to impede scientific progress, the weight of evidence led to the eventual acceptance of the Big Bang as the consensus among the scientific community. Over time, 
the proponents of opposing theories faded into obscurity as scientific inquiry continued to advance, ultimately leaving the Big Bang theory unchallenged in explaining the origins of the cosmos. During this time, astronomy and astrophysics as a whole experienced phenomenal growth from the 1960s through the 2000s, with cosmology as a subfield seeing the most remarkable expansion. We found a vast cosmic web and laid out the universe's structure on a grand scale. We learned about the formation, evolution, and dynamical evolution of galaxies and the star populations within them. We discovered that the known types of matter and energy in the universe couldn't account for all the things we see, thus we need dark matter and dark energy. Simultaneously, there were undeniably accurate observations that the Big Bang could not account for in its prediction abilities. No exotic remnants such as magnetic monopoles, particles from grand unification, topological defects, etc., have been observed. Today, despite the claim that the universe purportedly reached these arbitrary high energy and temperatures in the beginning, in theory, the universe we see could only be explained by forces beyond our current understanding. Yet, whatever such forces may have existed, they have remained hidden from our view. At its inception, the universe had to have a precise expansion rate that balanced the total energy density to within a few tenths of a percent if it was to have the characteristics we observe today. This is something that the Big Bang theory fails to account for. To be in thermal equilibrium or to have enough time to interact and exchange energy is the only way for diverse parts of space to have the same precise temperature. Still, there are a lot of areas that aren't related to each other causally. Since the universe is too large and has grown, those exchanges would not have been possible even if light traveled at its fastest speed. This is a huge problem for the scientific community and cosmology specifically. When scientific theories fail to account for a particular phenomenon, two paths are open to us. We can try to come up with a theoretical mechanism that accounts for those occurrences building on the prior theory's accomplishments but also producing new predictions that are different from those of the prior theory. Alternatively, we could think that everything is as it seems and that the universe just came into being with the characteristics that make it what it is today. Even if the first strategy doesn't work, it's still worth trying because only the first one has any scientific merit. Cosmic inflation has been the most effective theoretical framework for postulating an elongated Big Bang. This framework posits an earlier stage of the universe's exponential expansion during which it was flattened, endowed with uniform properties everywhere, expanded at a rate proportional to its energy density, rid of any remnants of high-energy events, and predicted the emergence of quantum fluctuations which would cause a unique kind of density and temperature fluctuations on top of an otherwise continuous universe. Thank you for watching another episode of Space Odyssey while you are still here don't forget to like and subscribe.